In this Unity tutorial, I will show you how to create this realistic looking smoke using the Unity particle system. The first step is to create a simple smoke image. I will go to photop.com. This is just like Photoshop, but it's free. I'll choose new project. I'll do something like a thousand by a thousand and I'll call it smoke. Now I'll press the new layer and delete the background so it's transparent. Then I'll choose the brush and choose this one. Set it to something like 160, 70. Then you'll add another layer and on the bottom layer, you'll, you'll make it black so you can see what you're gonna draw using the bucket tool. Then you go back to your second layer and choose white. Then set the opacity to so something like 34 and begin drawing. You just do something random, so which looks like smoke. And make sure you don't go out into the edges. And as you can see, I'm a little bit out on the edges, so I'll choose the eraser and click right here. Make it a bit bigger and go on the edges and just remove anything that's there. And before we export this, we have to remove the background. So we press right here. Then we go into file, export as, and choose PNG. Press the save button here. Then you can go back into Unity and drag the image into the assets folder. As you can see, it doesn't look right, but that's because you have to press this and press sprite. Then you can press apply and now it looks better. The next step is to create the particle system We'll right click in the hierarchy, go to the effects and choose particle system. I will call this smoke PS, PS for particle system. Then we can apply the image instead of these balls. So scroll down and click on the texture sheet animation and open it. Then change grid into sprites and drag your smoke right onto here. As you can see, we now have some, some kind of smoke we then scroll back up and set the start size to a random between two constants. Something like 3 and 5. No, maybe 2 and 3. Something like this. Then you go to the emissions tab. And you change this to 100. Right now it looks quite insane, but don't worry. Then we'll set the start color to a random between two colors. The first color is going to be grayish. You can see the hexadecimal right here, if you want the same one. And then the other one, we're gonna make even darker, something like this, and this is the hexadecimal. And it's already beginning to look like smoke. But as you can see in the bottom here, it looks kind of wild. So what we do is go into color over lifetime and we press this. We then set this to zero and press right here and we set this to 255. So now in the beginning, it's gonna fade in. As you can see right now, it's just disappearing up here. So what we can do to fade out at the top is press right here to add another one of these sliders and press this one and set it to zero. Now it will fade out. The next thing you can do is change the shape. You can do whatever you like. But I like to set the radius to zero and set the angle 28. Oh, 28. Another thing you can do to make it look more random is set the start rotation to a random between two constants and set it from zero to 360. If you want to make it look like there is wind, you can turn on the noise. And this is a bit too strong, as you can see. You can set this to something like 0 0.2. And now it's it's a bit more wild and you can mess around with these values to to make it look cooler an angle of 20 is probably better and yeah that's it if you like the video subscribe and if you have any questions just ask and have a good one